Welcome to TrekMap. On this video, I'll teach you how to make your first project and then how to edit paths, frames, and labels. The first time you open TrekMap, it sets up a working area for you. But then you can start your project immediately. The first thing you need to do is load up a map. I have an image map in, on my desktop. This is the archipelago of islands known as the Galapagos. The first project is a small trip through here. We click out a path, a nice smooth curve. The second step is to define a frame. This is the view that the camera has. The first frame is where the camera starts. The second one is where it finishes. We can then add labels. There's the start of our trip and the end of our trip. It's such a short video, I'm going to change the default from uh, 30 seconds to 5 seconds. And now we can start generating the video. Except we don't have a name yet. It's going to ask us for a project name first. And then I'll ask us for the name of the video, which could be the same or it could be different. This time I'll call it Galapagos Trip. And now it starts generating one frame at a time our video. This is what the final product looks like. A nice smooth curve, start to finish. After you've used Trek map a few times, the uh, opening screen looks like this, listing previous projects. Here I'm going to pick one, a walk from Central Park to um, the main library. I'm going to zoom in first and then add the path. As I click my path, you can see it's not really what I want, but I, I can fine tune and adjust that later on. Let's pan down and also let's change over to a straight line because the walk continues down 7th Avenue. There's Times Square, and then straight over to the library. Okay, now we can switch over into edit mode. Now, I can grab points and move them around. I can also do other things. I can change some of the characteristics of a point. I can change it into a corner by typing the C key at the same time. There are a few points in here I don't need, so I can highlight them and then type the D key to delete them. Up here in the park, I want to change my curve a little bit. I'd like to insert a point, but you see, this point really isn't what I want. It's got a corner in it. That's because I'm still in my corner uh, straight line mo mode. Change that back to a curve, insert my new point, and when I move it, it's nice and smooth. Now, I can also change the color of my path, change it to browns, pull it off of this palette. There are many different uh, ways of setting my color. I can pick all sorts of shades. Finally, I can go over to the video creation tab, hit start, and here I go. This is what the final product looks like. A nice walk down 7th uh, Avenue. Now we'll look at how to edit a frame. A frame is the camera's viewpoint. We'll start out with this trip, um, a hiking trip through the White Mountains along the Presidential Ridge. Here's our first frame. That's where the camera will start in that small corner, Pinkham Notch. And that's where it's going to finish, down there in Crawford Notch. Now, if the camera was just to go from start to finish, you would miss a great deal of the hike. Let's take a look at the flow diagram here. That white band is where the camera will pan, both vertically and horizontally. And you can see that the trek itself misses, it misses a lot of the trek. So we're going to have to insert some frames to get it to move around. First off, we can edit a frame clicking on the corner and stretching it. 
the round circle tells us it's in smooth curve mode. Here we've in, uh, inserted a new frame. The square corner tells us that it's going to be a, um, uh, a corner mode. It's not going to be smoothly um, moving. Now, let's go back to that flow diagram and you see we've done a lot better. A lot more of our track is in that white band. We can shift around the timing of the frame by sliding it back and forth on the flow diagram. And we can also insert a new frame. Again, by hitting the I key. Slide that frame down to right over Mount Washington, tweak it up there a little bit, change it to a C, a corner, and now the flow diagram looks pretty good. Not quite. Let's see if we can grab that, shift that frame slightly, here at the end of the trip, we're right near the bottom of the frame. It'd be nice to add one more um, frame. So we'll insert one, shift it down there, look at the flow diagram, just about right. Here's our final product, the trip through the White Mountains up Mount Washington, Madison, along the ridge. This is at about twice the speed over Mount Washington, Eisenhower, and down to Crawford Notch. Our final topic is how to edit labels. Uh, this is an expedition up Everest in 1953. Um, because of that, I want to pick out kind of an older font. So I'm going to go down here and pick out a copper plate. And then uh, I'm going to play with the angle here. I can swing up. This are the defaults, which means they apply to almost every label on the graph, on the uh, in the video. I can play with the color. I like that brown, but I want a deep brown. Now I can also uh, make them le right or left justified. You see that point? That's the pick point. You can um, edit it. Here I've also, you can select whether they're going to be visible as a mark on the final uh, product. If there's a little X through it, it means that they are not visible. We can also make them static, which means they show up through the entire length of the video, or they may just appear as the tr path gets near them. Now I'd like to edit one. Um, I hit the pick point. I'm going to edit this one uh, label, make it customized. By hitting reset, it means it matches the parameters of um, the normal default parameters, but then we can vary them. Here we're changing the angles and the sizes. I don't want to mark on this. It's kind of the whole region. And I do want it static. So that should appear throughout the entire video. Here's another uh, geographic feature. So I'm going to customize it to um, play with its sizes and angles. But also it's got this long name that I'd like it to wrap. So I'm going to put a slash in there instead of just a regular space. So break it into two lines. You can break it into many, many lines by the number of slashes you put in the label. And then I can move it around. And here's the final product. You can see the geographic features just sitting there, the names of the camps appearing as the uh, path goes by them. Enjoy.